Go ahead. Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Kellen Walker, former football player for Lakeside High School. Um, I'll be attending West Point Military Academy this this summer. Yeah. Um, well, my life was tough. It was hard. Um, and <clears throat> I started playing soccer, you know, because I, I didn't, I started to look to sports because things in my household was pretty much, you know, uh, terrible. So I started looking for sports as a, you know, so, as an outreach to, you know what I'm saying, to uh, basically put my anger and frustration towards. So I started playing soccer with my siblings. I have two brothers, two sisters. Uh, I lost three of them to, uh, um, to, this, to the prison system. They're incarcerated, they're still incarcerated to this day. Um, one of them actually was doing good for themselves. Uh, eighth grade, I started, somebody put a football in my hand and told me I was, I was fast, you know? So I uh, started playing football with my speed and my forward from soccer. At this time, I'm still growing with my relationship with India. You know, I didn't know Christ at all. And I was still doing the same stuff that I said I was doing from, from, from nine years old. You know, it started early for me. 10th grade year rolled around. I got in a huge amount of trouble that I, I practically couldn't get myself out of, and I thought my future of was going was over. I didn't even want to go to college at that point. I felt like if I graduated high school, if I graduated high school, then I just get a job and, and work, you know, somewhere at McDonald's or something. But she started. God used her to, you know, to tug at my heart some more. She started to be aggressive with her love for me and love towards me. And she started to really you know, come in my life and I finally accepted her, her and her family into my life. So uh, junior year, beginning of junior year, I actually, things at home had hit rock bottom at the worst point of my life. So, you know, I, I had nowhere to go. You know, I, I would have practically homeless. I would have been homeless if it hasn't. I haven't been for you know the Andersons taking me, in. but you know they they loved me. They saw something good in me, and and uh, they showed me Christ. They showed me who He was. They showed me that He died for uh, for us, and it showed me His love for us. So I started to really read up on that, and I moved in with them. Attended Barley Baptist Church, and they 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 welcomed me with open arms. Everyone there, from from the uh, students and, and the student ministries to the you know old people in uh, Cornerstone, you know they they all welcomed me, and you know they all welcomed me with arms. They had love for me, but I always felt like something was missing, you know. And uh, even though I started to know God, I always felt like I wasn't participating enough. So you know I prayed on it and, and I accepted Him fully. You know I got baptized. And as I'm doing this, I see that I'm developing my skills in football. And I feel like it wasn't me. It was God and he has a plan for me. Because I feel like he was my he was my legs in the games. He was my feet. He was my eyes. And, uh, you know, junior year came to an end. Senior year rolled around. This is my second year with them. And it's been nothing but blessings. Probably has blessed me. God has blessed me with tremendous uh, ability to play football. Um, so now I'll be attending uh, a West Point Military Academy starting July 19th, leaving July 16th. And uh, I, my plea year, basically, I'm below scum, but, you know, they'll break me down, but they'll build me back up, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. And, uh, yeah, go Army beat everybody else, especially Navy. <laughs> so, boys, can you get them? My advice is to... Keep God number one. Keep Christ as number one as your Lord and Savior. Never give up on your dreams. Even when times get hard, find the outlet. Find somebody to talk to that's very important. Find an older person to talk to that's very important. And if you're an athlete, which you are, um, keep working hard. Keep doing what you're doing. There's always somebody in front of you working just as hard as you. So work as hard, harder than that person. And always tell yourself, that you can do it, especially. Cool.